Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Riverside Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender Lee Dixon. And live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. It's Middlesbrough up against Watford. Yes, Derek, a break from league action for these clubs today. Obviously a long way to go in this tournament, months away from the final. But both teams will be hoping they can put a good performance in today and put their place in the next round. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, they are a team with a penchant for the explosive counter-attack. Is that something you think we'll see this time round, Lee? Yeah, pretty much, Derek. They perhaps don't have that creative midfield to produce. So sitting back and soaking up pressure and trying to utilise their pacey forwards is their best option. And so the initial 11 for Watford. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players Thank supply you. the support Enjoy for the, the two game. forwards up front. And so the battle commences. Fletcher. George Saville with it. And given away. Borough have it back. Takes the shot. No real threat, you've got to say. Now Saville. Possession changing hands. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Losing possession here. Chalabar. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. We've barely got started and already a yellow card. Now, will that be potentially problematic for player and official? Well, it will be because the player's on the tightrope now. He's now thinking about everything that goes in front of him. He goes short. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. Ashley Fletcher. Well, the attack looks promising. Will he play it in? Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Johnny Housen. It's Brits Asombalonga. And a fine tackle. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? Success. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Running with the ball confidently. 
Well, and the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning, though. And confidently converted. Well, here's the replay, Derek. They say a good penalty is one that goes in. But that was always going to be the case here. As the keeper gambles early and goes the wrong way. Easy penalty in the end. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. So, Borough restart the game. A wake-up call for their players, perhaps. Can they find a response? Johnny Housen. Top class defending. And space here on the flank. Can he put it away? And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. So 2-0 now. Corona of the Blue Vehicle, registration BG04D0M. Please return to your vehicle. You've left your lights. Johnny Housen. Success. There to win it back. Ashley Fletcher. A danger here as he runs at them. It did look on for them, but not to be. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Borough pushing forward with options available. Possession lost. Chalabar. Garner. Can he finish? And that's a straightforward stop. An example of how to press. Dykesdale. Now Saville. Housen here. George Saville with it. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, speculative. Worth an effort. Two goals down, why not? Mark Navarro. Well, it's one pass after another. And cleared away. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. It's there for him. 
And he's banged it against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking inches. So, so close with his head. Fletcher and for Nee Dykesdale well he's given us away real danger can he make it count the referee is given a corner Now the delivery. Takes the shot. Oh, a tremendous block. Chalabar can't get the shot through. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Over it comes, and cleared away. Real chance, able to close down the shot. Can they hit on the break? Dykesdale, and they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack late. Well, Derek, he's what I used to call a pest. Never lets up, always asking questions of you as a defender. Questions you don't normally have the answer to. That's why he gets so many goals. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Adam Massina. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Beautifully disguised ball. Has a go and throwing himself up the ball. And firing it into the area. And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. And Bayern have been very active in the transfer market, and they've made a big move personnel-wise. Good news for their supporters, Lee. Well, he's been the obvious target for many clubs, and you can see why. He's a top player. Lots of people will love playing with this lad. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Well, they haven't seen too many chances for a while, but this crowd can sense this could be the turning point in the game. They need a goal here. And over comes the corner. It hasn't come to very much. The hosts have really controlled possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. Well, this would help them get back into the game. And a goal to delight the fans, just what they were hoping for. Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, 
slick movement and then the sheer power of the strike really impressive it's a thunderbolt Well, 2-1 it is here. For Middlesbrough, number nine, Brit Asamalonga. Well, this is the home of live football and more live action from the Championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Middlesbrough facing Reading. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Almost unbelievably, he's kept it out. Well, I'm not sure how he's reached that. Just look at the stretch on that. A brilliant save. Substitution time it is here. Played into the centre of the box. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? And now the delivery, thumps clear. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Just looking ahead to another game coming up for you from the Championship, live on EA TV. It's Watford versus Wickham Wanderers. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Simple save, really. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. Johnny Housen. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Garner. Mark Navarro. It's with Isaac's success. Well, possibilities in the centre. Real chance. Keeper had work to do. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And firing it into the area. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Showing a real desire to win it back. Now potential danger. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Andre Gray. Surely! Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Johnny Housen. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Can he finish? And able to close down the shot. A corner to Borough and an opportunity for them maybe to get back into the game. Over it comes. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner.
played into the center of the box. Just couldn't get it through. And that'll be offside. Adam Massina and Gray here that's a good looking ball poor pass well they've got to give just a little bit more the fans are demanding it they could get themselves back into this one the possession lost intercepted On the attack in the closing phase. A super tackle and they've won possession. This might be ideal for the counter. It will be claimed by the keeper. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter attack. Not so. Keeper not concentrating. Oh my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, we're going to see the replay. The goalkeeper won't want to see this again. He gives the ball away. Still a bit to do, to be fair, but it's his fault. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Dale Fry. It's opening up for them. Really good challenge. Oh, a lovely ball. And a poor ball. Johnny Housen. Wood. Akbom. Well, body in the way. Success. Good looking ball. Mark Navarro. And he's keen. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Mark Navarro. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, you have to say it was a good performance today, Derek. They were certainly tested at times, but they've come through that and will have to fancy their chances in the next round. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.